Good evening, my friends. I am in vast need of a haircut, but this isn't about me anyway. Just came back from a two-day trip to a water park with my family, and I am exhausted. The kids wore me out. The swimming wore me out. And one thing that really struck me while I was there, you hear the birds? Yeah, it's beautiful out here. One thing that struck me though was how places like resorts and getaways are that just that. They're meant to get away from everything. And while that's a good thing and it's needed, it's also kind of an echo chamber. You don't know what's going on in the outside world. There's a lot of dissonance. Um, as I was at the water park with my family, I looked around at all the families with little children. And it's sort of sad that my mind goes there, but I see all these children and it's very hard when you're in a social place like that to think, what will it be like when the rapture happens? Will I be surrounded by children? Will others be surrounded by children, really? And what would places like water parks look like when that happens? Gave me kind of a chill. And honestly, um, I can't imagine being someone left behind and witnessing that. And all the joy that just leaves right away when that happens. And I didn't mean for this video to be a downer, but it just, in the days that we're living in, it's kind of hard not to think of that. And, um, you know, being away for that little bit of time, I just saw a bird fly behind me. That's funny. Being away, though, for that just that little bit of time, um, I, you know, I had purposely cut off all communication with news and things like that and YouTube. Wasn't, wasn't paying attention to that. And I haven't been watching, like, war footage of any kind for the last week or two. I've read news about it, but I don't watch footage. Um, there are certain things that I just don't want ingrained in my psyche. The photos are hard enough. The film's even harder. And, but for whatever reason, last night into this morning, all night long, I just dreamt about war. I dreamt about being a part of the war, a soldier. I dreamt about um, being a victim of the war, being seeing bombs drop, hiding, hearing air raid sirens, that kind of thing, all night long. And let me tell you, I was really tired this morning when I woke up. I felt like I had um, been through at least a portion of war. And so even while I was on um, vacation, we're on a little bit of a quick trip with the family, Honestly, it was still hard not to think about these things that are happening around us. And then I was, you know, I came home exhausted <laughs> from a trip. Isn't that funny? You go on a trip to rest and you end up exhausted. And I was laying in my chair. I never did fall asleep. And I started thinking about that song, Tis So Sweet to Trust in Jesus. Now, I didn't have a lot of the verses memorized, so I wrote it down so I could sing it to you. Because once I saw the lyrics... I realized why this song was stuck in my head. The lyrics are so beautiful and so peaceful. And in the midst of war and chaos in this world, um, there is someone we can trust in. His, his name is Jesus. If you hear me talking about Jesus and how much I love him and um, my relationship with him, you might, you might think, who is this Jesus guy? Jesus is, he was a man who lived on this earth, but he was God sent as man in flesh. He was born. He lived 33 years on this earth, three or so of which um, he had a ministry the last three years. He, he had 12 disciples, and the long and the short of it is he decided, and he knew he was going to do this, but he obeyed the Lord willingly. He obeyed his Father willingly to suffer death on a cross. His blood is a payment for our sins, his sacrifice. It's his perfect blood, which he never sinned while he was on this earth. He never sinned, tempted, but without sin. But it paid for our sins. It paid for every sin we've ever committed and ever will commit. So when we believe that he died on that cross for us in our place, and that he rose again three days later, and we confess that, and we that we believe that, then we are his. He simply asks that we believe. We're not to trust in our own works to keep us saved or to continue salvation or any of that stuff. Those are works. 
and we're called to do good works, but that is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit who seals us as soon as we believe. He seals us, he lives in our heart, he resides within us. Every time we sin after that, he convicts us. So uh, if you um, desire a relationship with him, because I know I always talk about my relationship with Jesus, it is a real thing. You will find out very quickly or soon enough, as soon as you believe on him. It says everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Then you will find out just what it means to be saved because the Holy Spirit will indwell you and you'll begin to have an understanding of um, Jesus as you get to know him. And uh, one way to get to know him, of course, is to open your Bible, um, get a Bible, get a Bible app. Um, They're easy to find. And start reading. Start reading the four Gospels, especially John, the Gospel of John. And the books of 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John are good too. And Romans, very good. The Romans Road will lay it out for you. We call it the Romans Road because there are scriptures in Romans that lead you right to uh, the cross of Jesus and what he did for you. So I'm going to sing um, this song for you. I really need a haircut. Um, just ignore me. This is shaggiest. I've let it go for a long time. I'm going to turn the camera around because I really, you don't need to see me. <laughs> you can just hear me. All right. God bless you guys. I love you. Again, um, I will put in the uh, description box the Roman road that I just mentioned. Um, the road to salvation. I love you guys. If you have any prayer requests, put them in the comment section. And just listen to the words beautiful words. I think Fanny Crosby had a part in this song. I I think. Don't quote me on that. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to know thus saith the lord jesus jesus how i trust him how i've proved him more and o'er jesus jesus precious jesus Oh, for grace to trust him more. I'm so glad I learned to trust him. Precious Jesus, Savior, friend. And I know that he is with me will be with me to the end jesus jesus how i trust him how i've proved him more and more jesus jesus precious jesus oh for grace to trust him more oh how sweet to trust in jesus just to trust his cleansing blood and in simple faith to plunge me neath the healing cleansing flood Jesus, Jesus, how I trust him, how I've proved him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust him more. Yes, tis sweet to trust in Jesus, just from seen and self to cease, just from Jesus simply taking, 
life and rest and joy and peace. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I've proved Him more and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I've proved Him o'er and o'er. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more, oh, for grace to trust Him more. Hmm. God bless you all. Love you. Maranatha.